Here's how to make balloon animals with antlers. You'll find our designs to be simple to quite complex. Here are the skills you'll need. A basic twist. And of course we have a video that teaches you how to do all of these techniques. A pinch twist. Fold twist. And you'll need to know how to cut down a balloon or rip it when you have excess balloon left over at the end. Let's get started with a basic deer. Essentially a dog balloon animal with antlers. You can need a lot of uninflated end about four or five inches. Start with the nose, a basic twist, maybe two inches. Now you're going to make a series of five small basic twists. Try and make them into little spheres here. So that's three, four, five. Now you're going to twist together the first and fifth basic twists and that's the first part of the antler. You're going to repeat it. One small basic twist, two, three, four, five. Again, twist the first basic twist with the last one and you'll form antlers for your deer. The rest of the balloon is pretty much a dog balloon animal. Of course, we have a video that teaches you that. If you need a brush up, you make a neck with a basic twist, lock twist for the front legs, basic twist for the body, and a lock twist for the back legs. Just one thing, uh, here it is a a picture but if you look close up at the antlers here I made a pinch twist on the third basic twist uh, as part of those antlers and I think it gives a better look but you'll have to experiment and see what works best for you we're gonna call this balloon animal a moose leave about four inches of uninflated end we're gonna start with the nose maybe two to three inches. Now you're gonna make a lock twist and a second lock twist that matches. And you can see here how you get antlers, a um, little more substantial kind of antlers. And it's just a basic balloon dog from here on, basic twist for the neck and lock twists for the front legs and back legs with one basic twist in between. And there you have it, a moose. We're gonna get uh, um, higher up in the complexity here. This is a detailed reindeer. It's gonna take multiple balloons. You're gonna start with your first balloon. This will be for the head and the body, maybe three, four inches from the end. Now I'm making a series of basic twists here, but what I'm making is a three balloon push through. So that's two basic twists twisted together and one more twist, basic twist the same size. And now you're going to push through well, the third twist and you get a basic twist, a uh, three balloon push through there, which makes the nose of this reindeer. Make a basic twist about the same size and now a pinch twist. starting to make the head and one more basic twist to match twist these together here you have the basic face and head of the reindeer this can also turn into a dog and you'll it'll become quite a bit more apparent as we uh, add more balloons and take this further 
The rest is pretty much a basic balloon animal dog. Make a small neck with a basic twist. Lock twist on the front legs. Small basic twist for the body. Lock twist for the back legs. And you have your basic head and body of a detailed reindeer. Take a white balloon, leave a lot of it uninflated. You're going to wrap the nozzle end around the nose to secure it. Now these, this is going to form the eyes, so make a basic twist about the same as the supporting part of the head and then twist it into the pinch twist. There's one eye. And now make a matching basic twist to form the second eye and then twist this into the nose here. We're going to have to make some adjustment here and this is where that technique comes in where you have to cut or rip the balloon. I'm going to rip it here. Rip it, rip it good. And release and tie it off. And you can see how we get two eyes now for our reindeer. Now for the antlers, take a balloon and inflate it maybe two inches from the end. You're going to fold it in half and then make a basic twist this. You're separating a one balloon into two segments. There you go, right there. Now this gets twisted into the pinch twist on the top of the head. And I think you can see how the antlers are coming along. If you're making a dog, you would just take a shorter balloon and turn these into ears. At this point, we have a dog with very long ears. But we're going to turn these into antlers. So you can make fold twists or pinch twists. I'm kind of in between here and what I did, but uh, you'll see how it uh, adds some shape and then make a similar twist on the other side to match so you keep the antlers symmetrical. And there you have your basic antlers and body of a reindeer. Now he is lacking a nose, and during the holidays it's nice to have a red nose, that's standard, but you can use a black nose, uh, any color you like. So you just uh, partially inflate a balloon, tie it off, cut it, and then simply wrap the end through the three balloon push through to secure it and tie it if you like. You can actually just kind of pull it through and wrap it several times and it will usually stay just fine. Now you can use a marker to draw in pupils for the eyes. But I'm using uh, these wiggly eyes you buy from a craft shop so I just stuck them on there. You can use a marker. Now here's a deer hat. You can hand these out at parties and people will wear them around and look like reindeer. So you uh, simply start out with your basic helmet hat and we have a video that teaches you how to make that. But you're just making a small pinch or basic twist in the front. You make a ring that wraps around the head and then the remaining balloon creates an arc over the top and is secured at the end again. And it's a basic helmet hat. Turn it into a reindeer. Get a second balloon, inflate it almost all the way, and just twist it into the top of the helmet hat. I think you can see where this is going. We're going to make a series of pinch twists or fold twists, what your preference. I'm going to make two here. Make it symmetrical on the other side, so there's one pinch twist, 
And again, you can use a fold twist if you like. And you can hand out the hat in this shape and people will have fun walking around with, with antlers on their head. But we're going to take it one more step further. Get a white balloon. You can use a round balloon or I happen to use a length here. Keep in mind that if you use a round balloon, then you'll have, you won't have these seams in the eyes. I think it'll make sense. See, here I used a white balloon, a 260 balloon, and just cut it down. And you can see the seams in the front, so you will have to use a marker to draw in the eyes, and that could get in the way since I'm using those uh, wiggly eyes from the craft shop. Um, they actually cover up the, uh, the seams there with the nozzles and the ends that are tied off. And you have a... Now you need a nose. Now in this case, I'm just putting the nose on top of the basic twist from earlier. Remember with these helmet hats, you do have to measure as you make the basic part of the hat so uh, you ensure that it fits on your recipient's uh, head. And you have your basic reindeer hat, make the eyes. Here I've added wiggly eyes again. Close up. And that's our video for making deer and balloon animals with antlers. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe for more lessons in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.